Hello, Weekend Tarot, and one of the cameras isn't working, so it's just the face one working today. And when the boy comes back, um, then I'll get him to fix it. So this is for the 13th and the 14th of January. And Mercury enters Capricorn on Sunday. I love all this Capricorn energy. Let me know how you're finding it. I love it, but do you love it? I'm going to do a quick thing from the Armanac, which is hilarious. If you can make this happen, I will be very impressed, okay? I was going to show you on the other camera. Garden craft. Right, you can see it there. It's all very blue Peter. I personally am probably the worst person at craft you will ever meet. There is a way that I can ruin and distort a piece of craft. <laughs> so everyone's like... Like that when they're looking at it. Yeah, interesting, they'll say. So this is an ice sun catcher. I know this isn't going to work very well if you're in Australia. Well, it will work, but it would melt very quickly. So make use of the low temperatures by making these ice ornaments to catch the winter sun. You will need, are you ready? Paper plates, shot glasses filled with pebbles, a jug of water, berries, leaves, flowers, ribbon. Place your shot glass in the centre of the paper plate. Pour water onto the plate and then arrange the leaves, berries and flowers. I assume you arrange them on the outside of the plate. Leave outside overnight. In the morning, if the water has frozen, you can peel off the paper plate and loop the ribbon through the hole left by the shot glass. If anyone understands this, give me a, a hello in the comments. Hang it in a place where it will catch the sun. I could go so wrong with this. I could definitely go so wrong with this. What if it doesn't freeze? Then I don't know what you do. Answers, please. Answers in the comments section. Um, take a picture, have a look, try and make one. If you, if you do, let me know. Email it. I'll put it up on the channel on the community thing. I will be most impressed. Right, we're using winter weight because where I am at the moment, it's kind of winter. It's also supposed to be like the most depressing week in January, isn't it? But no fear. We will trudge through it with our slushy wellies. Okay. What do we need to know for the weekend? I need to know what you're doing for the weekend because I'm nosy. Any plans or are you getting under a blanket? Yes. I think I will be actually. It's brilliant to have a heat. I sort of have a heated blanket all year round, which is terrible, but I'm a person who's always cold. So speaking of which, I've got my little heater going here, so I'm feeling quite good at the moment. Got my furry jumper on. Thank you for all the comments about it. It's going to be one of those things, you know, like a five-year-old boy who won't take off his Spider-Man pyjamas. You're going to be seeing more of me in this jumper. It's becoming a friend. Right, what do we need to know? God, do we really need to know that? I can't show you the cards because the camera isn't working. I'm having a bit of one of those days, actually. There's a lot of maths face going on for me today. I'm going to take one more. Oh, God, really? Do you want to know what the one more was that I took in my... Oh, just got to take one more. <laughs> Ten of freezing swords. The snowy, twinkly, crispy, Jack Frosty. Ten of freezing swords. I mean, that is cold. There is some lovely silver glitter on the top that you're not quite catching, I don't think. Okay, so catharsis. Ten of Swords is a catharsis card. It's a card where it becomes too painful to stay the same. And I've got a hunch now to take the bottom card to go with it. And that's all right. Good. On the bottom. So that was on the top of the deck. And the Queen of Cups, looking resplendent here in her onesie, is the Psychic Queen. The Queen of Scrying. The Queen of Delving Into Your Intuition. Cold, hard logic probably won't help you at the moment. There's, it's required, but it's not the real deal. 
if it was a pie, then intuition would be the filling and cold hard logic would be just a fine pastry on the outside. We get the Knight of Swords, which is some information. This could be a message, it can be a thought, you know, an aha moment. It can be you finding a piece of the puzzle, like the mental piece of the puzzle, but then also it kind of is a piece of the puzzle that jogs your intuition. It's where these two are working together. A little bit like, you know, the old school movies where you get two cops and they work together as partners. It's like that. One of them's usually good at the intel and the other one's got the streets, you know? It's that. So if you can imagine yourself as two cops, one with the intel, one with the street smarts, you'll be almost there, I think. There is a closing aspect to the Ten of Swords, something that is coming to an end with it. It's also a very good clearing card. It can also be a card for having some strife with the fam. It's a bit of a family card or a tribe card, a group card, that kind of feeling for me. So just watch out for that a little bit. It feels final. Yeah, it feels final. And then this cheery little snowy little three of swords. I know, you're like, thanks Gemma. <laughs> I know, when you get the ten of swords and the three of swords together, there's a meaning to that for me. There is a thorough investigation, you know, when you have that. The three of swords is the sort of ribbon of the pain of the past and how it's it's something that's forced because those three swords they don't belong in the heart and it's quite difficult to extrapolate them so i always think of it as i think of it as a dialectic moving through like a ribbon moving through you i was going to say something awful then but i've stopped myself and you'd be very thankful it feels as if we're working something through literally in the middle, bringing a little bit of comfort and joy, thank God, is the Four of Wands. So this is the magical portal. Now, the Four of Wands is a spiritual portal. That's why you've always got this kind of, you know, I don't know what you call that. It's like an imagined doorway with no door, isn't it? Because it's, it's more 5D. It doesn't need to be a door. It's the concept of falling through like a wormhole of luck. It, it kind of comes at a price, but the price is self-awareness. And I don't mind that, actually. It's just not incredibly comfortable. We also have the Nine of Wands, which is a card that says, yes, there's a need for you to defend yourself. Yes, there's a need for you to have boundaries and look after yourself. And it's probably something where somebody trespassed on a boundary that you have in mind or that you need to work through. Then we have this quite um, sanguine, actually, Seven of Pentacles, just having a chat with the Robin. He's still got his hat on from the staff party and it's a consideration card. Seven of Pentacles, you consider whether you want to continue with what you've been doing and how much more effort you should really put into it. Now, I'm gonna use an oracle card for us. What should I, oh yes. Sign of the times, crystal banner, that's what we're using. Love the box. Love that as well, even though, you know, if you had a migraine, it would not be the perfect thing to look at. Right, let's have a sign of the times. Love these cards already. No, it is that one. Itchy nose as well. Oh, we get clouds, which are distractions. These are the ways that we distract ourselves when there's something painful that we don't want to see. I know. And the bullseye of focus. Oh my God. So this is like a pull it, a leaning in and seeing, scrying the intuition, maybe some of the Knight of Swords getting the info. 
and then oh it's too much leaning out and distraction i don't think that's a really bad combination we're only human we can't lean in the whole time otherwise we'd go crazy okay the mercury going into capricorn is going to help because it's going to help us order our thoughts and order our emotions and also i'm just getting a slight thing you know when um Eckhart Tolle and all those sorts of people tell you you are not your thoughts. I think it's also from A Course in Miracles. That's a big deal. The ability to watch your thoughts go across <coughs> like a cloud that you're not attached to. Oh, I like that. Leave me a comment, okay? And have a good weekend. Let me know what you're up to. Namaste.